welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am, as always, your host, Dr. Suckit. <clears throat> so, today I am bringing you a deck that I have entitled Velomachus Rex, the Rexius Volomachus deck of them all. And this deck features Velomachus Lorehold, who's one of my favorite cards. One of my favorite. Love, love, love this guy. He's not necessarily the greatest card out there, just that everything about him is so awesome. Because he's got, he's flying, he's vigilant and haste. And then, uh, what is this? Whenever he attacks, you look at the top seven cards of your library. I may cast an instance or sorcery spell with mana value less than or equal to Velomachus's power from amongst them with, without paying its mana cost. So basically, yeah, you take the rest of the bottom, you put the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. So you, you just get to go through the top of your library, find some sort of instant sorcery, and cast it with nothing else going on. And guess what his, his power is? His power is uh, five, and everything else in here is five or less. So pretty much whatever it finds, you can cast it. So it's, it's, just, it's just a matter of getting up to that uh, seven casting cost, is which, he, which we cost there. And I've seen a bunch of tricks for getting this guy from the graveyard back into your hand, that kind of thing. But uh, this is not that kind of a deck. Anyway, so there are four of him in here. Uh, let's see. So what else we got dragon-wise in here? We've got one of the Atushi, the Blazing Sky. At Atsushi, At Blazing Sky. Who is a dragon spirit, so that counts as a dragon. Uh, flying and trample. Excellent. And when it dies, you get to exile the top two cards of the library until the end turn. You may play those. So if you're in the mood. Or create three treasure tokens, which is fantastic. <clears throat> So uh, he's a pretty decent guy. There's only one just because I've only got one right now. He's a mythic, and that's all I got. These things will come, but not right at the moment. Uh, we've got three of the mana form Hellkite. I got plenty of those guys. And uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell while he is out, you generate an XX Dragon Illusion creature, which has flying and haste, where the uh, his XX is equal to the amount of the, of the spell that was... Of mana cost to cast the spell. So if you're playing like a like a four four here, you got a four four illusion. And the thing is, is even if he comes out not hasty, if you can cast this afterwards, then guess what is hasty? That that is. So therefore, you can actually get some attacks in on the first round if you have enough mana for all that. So yeah, so we've got a total of what does that look like? Eight eight dragons in here. Um, beyond that, we've got the dragon's disciple or disciple which is a 1-3, so he's got a nice big butt that'll do good for defense. And then when he comes into the battlefield, you can reveal a dragon card from your hand. If you do, then this guy comes into the battlefield with plus one counter on it, making him a 2-4. And then he gives all your dragons uh, ward one, which means if you put out all three of them, then all your dragons would have ward three, which would be, fan at least I hope so. I'm not sure. We'll see. I just assumed it would be ward three, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're cumulative that way. <clears throat> so uh also dragony in this we got the orb of dragon kind which basically it takes any one mana and turns it into two mana in any cat combination of colors that you can only use to cast dragon spells or activate the abilities of dragons and if you happen to be a little light on the dragons in your hand category you can pay one red to sacrifice this look at the top seven cards of your library reveal a dragon and put it into your hand so there's a lot of that kind of thing going on, apparently. Uh, we got Dragon Fire, which does three points of damage to target creature or planeswalker. But if you happen to have a dragon in your hand, you can reveal it and it'll do that, or not even in your hand, but also in, in play. It'll reveal that much dr damage instead. So if you reveal a Velomachus, it'll do five points of damage. If it'll do either of these two, it'll do four points of damage. So you have the ability to, to get some, some stuff going on there with dragon fire provided you got some dragons there's a lot of like showing people what's coming up in the future which is a little, a little weird but they're going to kind of guess it when you're putting out dragon's disciple and orb of dragon kind uh i threw in here some dress some sanctified it kamigawa is so full of artifacts and enchantments hopefully this is going to be the new killer in the, the new meta you gotta kill them artifacts and enchantments there's there's two of them in there i kind of think i may end up having to load up on this more Maybe get rid of the, the direct creature kill. Um, this one right here is great because it's providing the treasure tokens, which is what you need to do to be able to get 
your Velen Machus out as quickly as possible. So it does two damage to any target and creates a trigger token. So that's great. Unexpected Windfall is that you get to draw two cards and create two treasure tokens. What else we got? Burning down the house, which will just do uh, five damage to each creature in Planeswalker, which will take out any creature I got. So that's a little scary, but if you play it before you play your big guys, then whatever, that's a great way of clearing the board. <clears throat> also, you can use it to throw out three 1-1 one -one devils, which can you know repetitively do damage. And then when they die, they do an additional point of damage to any particular target. So these guys are nice. They're very spiteful, and they will burn down the house. Now, right here, here's Invoke Calamity. It's another new card from Kamigawa. It costs five. And it says you may cast up to two instants and or sorcery spells with total mana of six or less from your graveyard or hand without paying their mana costs. So basically, if you can get Velomachus to then pull out and Invoke Calamity, not only are you playing, you're paying one instant or sorcery, you'll be doing two after this. And I see if a spell would be put into the graveyard, you exile this extend, and then you exile this card. So yeah, this guy combos very well with Vela Marcus Lowhold. Basically, yeah, it's like you attack with him, then you get this thing. At which point, then you could pick two things down. I and mean, you burn the house would totally kill Vela Marcus. So I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, but you could put out like two sets of devils potentially. You could do six of them, which would be pretty over the top. You could do an unexpected windfall to grab a bunch of cards and a bunch of treasure tokens or worst case scenario dragon's fire you know or sanctify to wipe out a truckload of stuff that would be great of course you know, just whatever you got available to you right that's what you got to worry about all right so over here in the land category we've got uh, some kamigawa lands we got the yai jan yeah ganjo seat of the empire which it deals four damage to target attacking or blocking creature. It costs one less for each legendary creature you control. Now the deal is, I think we only have one legendary creature, which is Valamarcus himself. So at best, this will just be two mana to be able to cast. But, you know, you're shooting for two or for four at that point, which is pretty good. And we got the Sozinzan, which um, create two 1-1 one -one color spitters creature tokens. They cost one less for each legendary you have. So it costs three to get out two color spirit tokens with haste. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Of course, if you're already attacking, haste isn't going to really do much for you. Uh, other than that, we got dual lands, dual lands, a, a number of fast lands, and we got the Temple of the Dragon Queen. Nothing says I'm playing dragons like Temple of the Dragon Queen. I almost took it out, but it's just like, look, they're, they're going to know what's going on. Because uh, the big thing is that if you show that you have a dragon, then it can come out untapped, which means you can use it immediately. And that's the benefit of Temple of the Dragon Queen. I mean, it also is whatever color you want it to be. So it, that's good, too. I'm not terribly worried about in this deck. We're only playing with two mana. Oh, the last card I didn't talk about was Lorehold Command, our Swiss Army Knight. And you get to pick two, which is really nice for one of these situations. It costs five mana, so it's a little bit more expensive than some of the others. But uh, you can have a 3-2 red and white spirit token. You Creatures you control get plus one and gain indestructible and haste until the end of the turn. That's what you want to put on your... That's what you really want to cast if you got Balamakas coming out. You know, in, that indestructible. Does he get haste? Yeah, he does already. And that plus one, all good, all good. Lower hole command deals three damage to any target. You, the target player gains three life. So that's a little bit of a vampire going on there. And sacrifice or permanent, then draw two cards. So we got card draw again. So hopefully this deck will do okay. You know, I had a. I woke up this morning thinking about it, and. This is practically what I thought we need to do. If anything, I'm thinking we need a little bit more tar uh, enchantment destruction, but we'll see how this one pans out. Let's try it out. All right, we're playing against Moo Moo. That's all, you, you're asked to come up with a name and you come up with Moo Moo. All right, here we go. So we got lots of expensive stuff and nothing otherwise. Let's go ahead and put out some stuff here. Let's see. So I got four mana, which is great. Two. Thing is, is that we're not getting anything at the low end here, right off the bat. Three. Okay, we're getting close to that mana form. Let's go ahead and go for this. Four. Uh, do I need double white? Not really. 
And there we are. Now, hopefully he doesn't get just nuked right out of the air, but that could happen. All right, well, he's not getting nuked right off the bat, so that's good. All right, we'll put out another land. And I'll put out the Orb of Dragon Kind. Excellent. And we're coming in for an attack. And we're done. Oh, poor mana. Mana form. I, I, I loved you so. Yeah, the thing... Okay, so yeah, Velimachus can come out next turn and start raging. Yeah, I don't care. He'll kill that dude. What is this, like a one tone kill? Yeah, I'm dead. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> There's nothing you could do about that. There is nothing you could do about that. That's amazing. All right, we're playing against Hata, Hakata GP. Hakata GP. Three mana. I can live with that. One. Boy, this thing loves giving me my expensive guys right off the bat. Two. No haste. Three. I'll put out the dragon kind. And they're going for speed. Uh, eh, I'm not going to block. All right, let's see. I can put out another dragon, which isn't going to help us here, but I can play the five. At which point, what do I want to do with it then? I can do three points of damage, and I can, I'm not going to sacrifice a permanent. So I can create a creature that has some beef to it. Let's do that. So we want to uh, create that and do that. Right there and right there. I'll attack. There we go. All right, what sort of mischievous dealings are they about to get into? Discard, huh? Uh, uh, I'm thinking this one. I mean, I got five mana, which isn't enough for a 
Bellamachus if I need it. I guess I got this one over here. So that's worth six. I just got to get another one from someplace. I don't care. I'll still kill it. Cook a kill. Cook a kill. So I'm thinking, depending upon if I get what I get next turn, my next thing would be improvised weaponry, which is three, which leaves me with then two, which makes three. If I get another mana, that'd be great. All right, I need to start killing some stuff. Is what I really need to do. Let's kill that guy. Good kill. All right, let's go in. There we go. Okay, so things are looking great right now. Still looking great. Still not looking great. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do this instead. We're gonna pop that. Go and get a dragon. I've got five men at this point. Oh, and nothing. Nothing. Oh, a total whiff. Come on, there was so much potential right there. All right, there we go. Come on, you can do it. Hold it together. Hold it together. Yeah, so he's got four on the board. He sacrifices something, okay. That's not good. Run out of mana. He's gonna try to block with that uh, grave lighter there. What does this thing do? All right, uh, dragon gets ward. And we'll come on in for an attack. Yep, do just what you got to do. Are we beating butt or are we getting our butt beat? All right, what's going on here? I can't do anything about it then, huh? No! So close. All right, we're going up against Ghost Bear. Ghost Bear! Ghost Bear! And I'm not going to play with two red mana. What's it going to do for us? Will I? I can put out the Dragon Kind. That'll give us three. All right, let's keep it. Oh, this is me just hoping. Hoping. It's not looking good. Come on, man. I need I need a mana. Hopefully like a white. If I get a fast anything, we can we can play the blazing sky on the next turn here. That's not the fast I can't do anything. Ah, uh, go. I'm done. Yep, I gambled on two mana. And I messed up.
All right, we go. We'll show a dragon, submit, and we'll take a white, right? Because we have plenty of red out. And we'll pass that one out. And there we go. Now, if he gets killed, I got three. I got three out of the deal. There we go. Which, on top of the four we got, will give us a Velomachus on the next turn. Three treasure tokens. Perfect. Alright, we go. Velomachus. Ought to pay. I'll attack. Something good. We'll take for the two. And we'll shoot that guy out of the sky. Suck it, Ghost Bear. All right, so I got a little dragon fire action here. That can totally smoke that thing. Uh, let's do that. Smoke it. Choose a dragon I control. This one, this one, and submit. And let's take it in. And what are we going to do here? Invoke Calamity, huh? Eh, let's try it out. I haven't tried it before. What am I going to play? Burn down the house. That'll take down our friend. Let's go for this one here. And what are we going to do? We will do... Uh, three and three. Target creature or planeswalker. That guy. That guy. And go. Let's give him a little bit of coverage. Ward one. Why does I got beef up so much? If you control a dragon, he comes in the field with plus one counter on. That's awesome. Suck it, Chandra. Yep, I thought so. And there we go. Defeat for Ghost Bear. Victory! All right, so this is Velo Marcus Rex. And I, I don't know. You can probably tell by the tone of my voice. I love it. I love it. I love this deck. But, um, you know, it wasn't a super winner, but it was a super player. That's what it was doing. Uh, that last round, oh, that was so good. Velomachus gets out there and just starts spanking people. That is what's so glorious about Velomachus. You know, I've never played Velomachus with Dragon's Disciple before, but I love, love, love the fact that they give him Ward 1. I'd love to have more wards out there just to protect Velomachus' butt, because that guy, he needs to be protected. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, even in the, de the games where we lost, we did well. You know, and it, it could have just been, you know, that went second or something like that was the reason we lost. I mean, it wasn't overwhelming. We didn't just completely dominate hand over fist, but the deck played well and it was fun to play. Let's talk about what, I mean, okay, who was the big star? Velomachus. Velomachus was the best thing in this deck and he always does awesome. What's great is we had plenty of instants and sorceries to help the guy out. Dragon fire with the Velomachus. Oh, that is so good. Uh, Sanctify for taking out... We didn't really see very many artifacts or enchantments. Um, but, you know, getting that life gain, that works so well. I kind of think we need a little bit more of this in here. Uh, Oregon Drabenkind, you know, I've always hated this card before, but now I see its true value. It really does work well with dragons. Either it helps you get them out to play, or at least finds them for you. I mean, that last time that I played it, or well, I played it one time and totally whiffed, we pulled seven cards and got no dragons. That just was, that sucked. But what can you do? I mean, we tried. It was seven cards. The odds were something was going to show, but the shuffler had it out for us that time. Um, you know, the fact that this deck provides treasure tokens so readily is very useful. Unexpected windfall, great. Improvised weaponry, great. Um, where else does it here? The, the Atushi, the Blazing Sky, this really is the key that got us uh, Velomachus when we did. Sure, he took the hit, but what he really did was gave us three treasure tokens. That guy is wonderful for that. It'd be nice if he had some haste, but we don't really have that kind of hasty thing going on around here. 
I mean, what is this here? Uh, this will do it. This will give you guys haste. But, I mean, still, the ability to play a mana form Hell Kite and this at the same time. I mean, what is that? Like, nine mana we would need? I don't think we're getting up to there. I mean, I suppose with all the treasure tokens, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Uh, I gotta say, I love Burn Down the House. The artwork is, as they would say, so choice. I would highly recommend you pick it up if you have the opportunity. If you have the means. Uh, yeah, I should get that framed and put on my wall somewhere. Because look at that. That is just beautiful. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so all together, this is a wonderful deck. I, can it be better? Probably. I, the Sanctify just seems a little on the mm, not wordy enough side. I don't know what it is about it. But um, there's probably some something in here we could do a little bit better. You know, make take it. Make it yours. Do what you can. Because this deck is totally totally worth it that is all for now if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like and subscribe from all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of uncommonly good mtg have a great day in the words of my people be excellent to each other and party on dudes <laughs> <laughs>